Well, you guys know what that means when we get the duels out for the 7800 and it's September 15th. Yep, September 15th. We're gonna start thinking about getting ready to cut beans, not that they'll be ready till October. Cause I think we planted a later day bean, I think. Uh, since it's raining, I will take and flip my buckets over because there's nothing, there's nothing worse than going to fill your feed buckets and having the feed all stick to the bucket. Yuck. Thought I had a tail light out. So we got this thing all done. Yeah, I think dad's trying to tell me to wax this thing. That's why he put that there. I'll get to it. That'll be, you know what? I see a shi I see shiny, don't you guys? Hmm. We'll wax it. Not sure if we're running haul trucks today or not. We'll find out. <laughs> thinking I'm gonna do with this tape well I started washing this baler I get the thing all blowed off and I went to go wash all the hydraulic oil and grease off this thing I noticed that this wire was got a little bit of moisture in it so I'm gonna do I'm gonna tape all these electric wires up or uh put tape over them so that so that they don't get water in them and see that one there's got a bunch of crud in it i don't want that because i'll never hear the end of it if i short these things out and they quit working so yeah it's always better safety first well, there now i feel better that they're taped up eh, somewhat this one here, I did a really good job. The other one, yeah, not so good. At least it ain't as bad as that disc bind. That disc bind was a pain in the butt. Here's a little quiz for anybody. Do you guys know why we have this hitch pin welded to the baler? Hmm? Does anybody know why? Leave a comment below what you think your guess is, and I will answer our next video. This is the one thing that I despise about manufacturers. They put stuff in the most stupidest spot that it's not even funny. I don't know. Another five, six foot up that way. And then, so you would have room to open this panel because there's no freaking way you could hold this thing up and clean out whatever it is you need to clean out. It's just a piss. Poor design. Again. Nobody can get anything right. Well, since I got the back side of this thing, and I know I'm going to get this dirty again. I hope that twine box is waterproof. It, it probably isn't, but... Oh. Um. Yeah. It's probably not waterproof, but... 
Oh well. Probably wasted 30 bucks a ball of twine or something. I don't know, maybe they're 10 bucks a ball. I don't know. And I forgot to blow this plunger off. Great. It's no worse than washing that pig that's sitting on the other side of the building over there. You just blow the grease back and forth on that dang thing. Well, the moment of truth. Is it ruined? Or is it still good yet? Surprisingly, it's still good. Holy... Well... You can see a little bit of water. But for the most part, you know, it's clean. No run twine. Well, since I can't... Mm, since I can't wash this shit out, I may as well just... I can't even hardly reach that stuff. There. What a mess. But it still ain't as bad as the disc bind. Yeah, how the heck? Is it gonna push? Nope. Ah, dang. What a mess. Still. Deck gone, look at all that. Man. So I need to get, I need to get this arm on the bottom end so that, so that I can uh, wash it a little bit better by, and you do that simply by spinning the flywheel. Ugh, and getting grease all over yourself. Okay, so there it is. And now, now I can wash it a little bit better. Oh yeah. Not just a little bit better. A lot better. Does anybody want to come do this job? So we got all kind of stuff happening here. Uh, just got done putting duels on a 7800. So that we can use it to pull the grain cart this fall. Um, 7010, you can hear behind me. I think it needs batteries. I think it needs batteries because it just don't start like it should. But this thing here, it always starts. So I just got what the heck? Must be them birds. The grain cart hooked up, it took me 20 minutes. Because the ground is the same color as the daggone hitch. And it'd be better off if this was a concrete building. But it's not a concrete building, so I guess I'm out of luck. But it's hooked up. That's pretty pathetic for 30 some chickens. I think I'm done with chickens after this year. It ain't worth it. At least I, I don't know. I'll see. Wasn't that lovely? Gosh darn it. Developed a ticking noise. Just lovely.
No, it's got oil. So. Great. Just great. Start the thing back up, see if we... Gosh darn it. Something. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Goes away about sixteen hundred RPM. Fifteen hundred. Let's see. 14, 13, 1300 it tries to do it. I don't know. It's not doing it as frequently now I don't know what the heck so the baler is all washed in the shop to be greased the uh, grain carts hooked up but no PTO or hoses are hooked up and I'm going home to see what the heck is wrong with this thing I might bring you guys along for it stay tuned guys we'll bring you back Thanks for watching.